afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I am Meezy69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at a couple of tanks that were once the original, well, not once, they were the originals in Blitz. They're literally like the first two premium tanks most people bought. And the first one being the IS-6. Now, the IS-6 back in the day, was one of the best tanks, uh, one of the best premium tanks to uh, to get. Everybody had an IS-6 when I joined the game. Um, and everybody used to run double IS-6s because you it was plus two, minus two matchmaking. And the IS-6 was very, very good when you was up against tier eights. Uh, and sorry, tier sixes. And the best thing about the IS-6, it also had the preferential matchmaking, I think. Uh, so it only saw tier nine. It didn't see tier 10. And yeah, nowadays the IS-6 is pretty much nothing. You don't really see them anymore, especially now war games and actually remove them from the tech tree. Uh, there used to be some premium tanks that you could just buy whenever you wanted. And the IS-6 was one of those tanks that everybody wanted to get back in the day. Um, so the armor profile isn't the best on this tank. It used to be really good, of course, up against tier sixes uh, and when people started to learn how to deal with the IS-6. So the hull is only 110 millimeters. The turret is 150 uh, on the front and on the side and 100 on the rear. So the, the turret is fairly strong or it was fairly strong back in the day. The DPM, not really that good at 1900 and uh, you do have this, uh, the other gun is, again, it's not as good but the DPM is much better uh, but you do lose penetration and on this gun you've got it's literally a 12 and a half second reload with 221 AP pen with 270 on your heat uh, 61 on your HE uh, in perspective the smash up in tier 7 has more heat pen than the IS 6 yeah and that's a tier 7 so you've got a 400 alpha 340 on your heat and 500 on your HE I personally would probably run it with calibrated shells. You get that almost to around about 300 pen. Um, and you only have six degrees of gun depression. So it's... Uh nowadays it isn't the tank it once was and that is a shame because like this is a legend like the 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 camo says it the is6 legend and i'm i'm actually glad wargaming named it legend because it is it is a legend of the game and it'll always be my the past you know it's it's the when we first started the game you wanted an IS-6. Now, now for me, I never play the IS-6. There is no reason for me to play the IS-6 because, in fact, I do have the IS-6 Fearless. So there's no point me playing the IS-6. Um, however, people uh, can still buy it every now and again. And when it does come for uh, an offer, it does come fairly cheap. Uh, so do, would I recommend now the IS-6? Now, no, there are plenty of other better tanks out there. And the IS-6 has just been power crept so bad. All the new tanks are pretty much better than the IS-6. The other tank, the other original tank, the original heavy is the T-34. Now, this was a very nice tank and it still is in some aspects. Uh, the turret is very, very nice. Uh, however, the hull is not so good. Wargaming buffed this years ago. Like it was an okay tank. And then Wargaming buffed the, uh, I think it was the penetration and maybe the DPM. And they made it one of the best tier eight premiums in the game. So you've got 279 millimeters on that turret. There are some weak points. So you do have to be careful if you are driving the T34. And the DPM a little bit higher than the IS-6 at 2036. The reload 11.79 and the penetration 248 on your AP and 297 on your APCR. So much better than the IS-6. Uh, 60 pen on your HE. You've got a 400 alpha on your AP, 340 on your APCR and a nice 515 on your HE. Aim time obviously not so good at 5.5. Dispersion not too bad at 0. 
0.317 and it does have a nice 10 degrees of gun depression with 35 kilometers per hour speed so you really have to use that gun depression like you have to use the gun depression uh, when you're driving this tank if you're not going to use that gun depression then you're not going to get bounces because your hole as i've said the hole is very very weak and if you're not in the right position uh, because it's such a big hole um hole uh, the whole armor or the hole on the tank is so big you're not going to uh, be able to hide it i mean not sure where that shot went on the enemy t34 uh, but you can see he managed to pen me very very easily um and if I just aim my shots properly, I would be able to pen him because he can't hide behind that rock because his hole is too big. Now, this is where I do mess up. I'm giving this guy an easy shot, literally like an easy shot. And again, he manages to uh, to pen me very, very easily. Uh, so already I've done zero damage and uh, I haven't bounced a single shot because I'm not using the tank effectively. I haven't put it in the position that this tank really needs to be in. Um, um, you can see the size of the turret. The, the turret is absolutely massive. So as soon as you start to turn your turret, it does become uh, a lot weaker. So again, uh, do be careful of that. Um, just like the IS-6, the T-34 was in the uh, tech tree. You used to be able to buy it for, uh, I think it was 7,800 or 7,600 uh, gold at any time that you want, uh, that you wanted. Um, and now people, like after the buff, it was definitely a tank that was worth getting. Uh, honestly, it was one of the best tanks. Uh, if you like the T29 or even the T, not even so much the T32, the T32 is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, this is like a T29, like a tier 8 T29. However, the armor on the T29 is better than the T34. So this is all, this tank is all about the turret. It is all about the turret. And as I've said, you do have some weak points, uh, but you do need to hide them weak points. It is a must that you hide them weak points uh, because as you can see, we are now only on 144 hit points and we haven't bounced a single shot because we haven't put the tank where it is best to sit at. So we haven't really done any damage at the moment. Now we are playing it a bit risky here. Uh, we know that there are quite a few tanks around us and that there again was uh, a bad shot so uh, that is my fault and my fault not the uh, tanks but yeah the penetration is very nice uh, the speed's all right to be honest for a heavy the speed is absolutely all right uh, it's just that hole the hole is non-existent there is no whole armor whatsoever now luckily this Borzik isn't looking at me he decides to go for the J Panther personally I would have gone for me because I'm a tier 8 tank I've got a turret and I'm a, I've got a strong turret uh, but that guy decided to go for me so I'm going to get that kill there on the AMX it is now a four versus three we are winning on supremacy points and uh, that's pretty much going to be it but uh, we don't do do much damage it's not about the damage in this tank uh, we just wanted to show the tank, to be honest, and how these tanks were once the legends of the game. Like, there wasn't as many premium tanks. Those people that have only been around a couple of years, um, you'd never know. You'd never understand how good these tanks are, especially if you play them now. If you play them now, they are nothing like they used to be. So it is unfortunate. There is such thing as, a, uh, of course, power creep. And I think both of these tanks have been completely power crept. There's tanks with better armor profile than the uh, IS-6. You know, that's you know, there's no point playing the IS-6. There's plenty of other IS tanks. The IS-5, that's another tank that is, in my opinion, better than the IS-6. The armor profile is much, much better. And again, if you're in a clan, you, can, you could have got that for like 1,500 gold, which is really, really cheap. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope one day Wargaming gives it some more love. Personally, I think the T-34 does need a little bit of buff on the turret, uh, I'm sorry, on the hull, because the hull is just, anybody can pen that hull like butter. But these two tanks are the Blitz original premium tanks, and they were back in the day one of the best tanks to have in your garage. Let me know your thoughts on both of these tanks. Have you had them since the start, and do you still play them? I'd love to know. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meezy69. And I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.